Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on everybody? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Answer your questions today. Today's question is, who are my top five pitchers of all time? All right, so we're going to go through my top five pitchers in no particular order. I'm just going to give you the top five. Uh, this was a hard list for me to make, a really hard list. I just did the top five hitters of all time. That was a little bit easier for me. Top five pitchers, uh, I'm sure a lot of you are going to yell at me for some of these uh, players that I put in here. Again, really, really tough for me to put this together. I did my best, okay? Put your top five pictures in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate that. I want to hear what you guys have to say. So I put down a couple notes here. Let's go up, uh, over it. I'll start at number one. Again, this is not uh, in any order, okay? I just picked my top five pictures of all time. Number one, I'm going to go with Roger Clemens. Now, when I first started to look at some numbers, I wasn't going to put Roger Clemens in there. Now, I watched Roger Clemens pitch. Obviously, I was a big Red Sox fan. Watched him pitch for the Yankees. Saw him pitch for the Astros. So, I saw him pitch for a lot of years. Um, obviously, had great years. There were years where he was unhittable. Blue Jays also. So, American League eats forever. Um, then I went and looked at his final stats, and I was like, holy crap. He was really, really good for a really long time. Now, a lot of players, a lot of people, excuse me, are going to say, well, he was on steroids, a steroid user, and all this stuff. Um, might have been. Again, just like in the hitting, I put Barry Bonds in there. Listen, he may have been on steroids. He was facing a lot of dudes on steroids. Everybody was on steroids during those years. So I'm not going to knock him for it. I'm going to still put him in my top five. Here are a couple numbers that stand out to me. Uh, let's see. 24 years? 24-year career? That's ridiculous. And he actually has the highest war of all time. I did not realize that until I looked up the, the stats. So he helped his team win a lot of games, all right? He had a lot of wins to his team. Seven Cy Young Awards, that's pretty good. Seven times uh, winning the Cy Young. Uh, had almost 5,000 Ks, so his numbers were just ridiculous. He did it for a super long time. Again, I know people are gonna say that's because of the steroids. It might have been, I don't know. But I'm gonna put him in the top five, okay? So Roger Clemens. Number two, some people might get mad at this one. It's Pedro Martinez. I'm a huge Red Sox fan. Pedro's my favorite pitcher of all time. Okay, he was ridiculous. When I watch him, pretty much unhittable. Maybe the greatest year of all time. Can't remember what year it was. 2000, maybe? I don't remember what year it was, but it was ridiculous, okay? But he put up a bunch of those years. So three times Cy Young Award winner. Uh, he finished in the top four, four other times in his career. So he was pretty much in the running for Cy Young seven times, which again, Clemens won it seven times. Pedro was right up there. He won it, what I say, three times? Um, let's see. He led the league five times in ERA with the best ERA in the league. Um, had a sub three ERA. So he was just ridiculous, unhittable. One of my, actually, one of my favorite memories of Pedro was that All-Star game when he struck out like McGuire, Sammy Sosa, Larry Walker might have been. I don't, he's throwing like 100 miles an hour. Changeup was doing this. Like, the dude was just unhittable. You couldn't hit him. When he was on, it was game over. You might as well give up. Don't even go to play with a bat. You're not going to get a hit off him. So, Pedro, my favorite pitcher of all time. I had to put him on my top five. Number three, Greg Maddox. Okay, another ridiculous career. Uh, I kind of put him in here also because I had my first hit of all time against him. And so at least now I can say that I got a hit off somebody that I put in my top five. Um, didn't get many hits after that, but I got at least one off of him. A couple stats that I wrote down about Maddox. Uh, four consecutive Cy Young. So he had a stretch where he was just ridiculous, obviously. Um, over 3,000 Ks, over 350 wins. I know some people are going to say wins aren't important. Um, Still, the guy was ridiculous, did it for a super long period of time, um, so I'm going to put him in my top five pitchers of all time, all right? Number four. Now, a lot of the guys that I'm putting in my list are guys that I either played against or got to see play a lot. So at number four, I had to put somebody in that was a little bit older. I'm going to put Walter Johnson. His numbers are ridiculous. Um, I was going to put Randy Johnson in. But I put Walter Johnson because I felt like 
I had to put somebody from back in the day. And his numbers are crazy. 417 wins. He had 110 shutouts. 110, sh 110 shutouts. That means he didn't give up a run in 110 games. That's pretty good. Um, 3,500 Ks, a lot of Ks, two MVPs. Uh, let's see. He led the league in strikeouts 12 times. <laughs> pretty good. 217 ERA. So his numbers are ridiculous. Now, obviously, he played in an era where there was much less offense, but he was basic. He was unhittable for that time through the through absolute smoke. So we'll put Walter Johnson in there um, again. I know it was a different era of baseball, but I'm, I'm going to throw him in there. Okay. Number five, Tom Seaver. Okay. Now five was really hard. A lot of these were hard. I'm going to go over the names that I would, was going to put in, but I just couldn't find room for them because there's so many really good pitchers. Uh, but I'm going to go with Tom Seaver. He won the Cy Young three times. All right. He had five 21, 21 seasons. Again, I know that wins, whatever. The guy won a lot of games five times. Uh, nine consecutive 200 strikeout seasons, which is mind-boggling. Guy just struck everybody out, okay? So, um, guy was inducted into the Hall of Fame. I think he had like, a, what was it, 99% on, this, on the Hall of Fame uh, ballot. So, uh, ridiculous, ridiculous career. I'm going to put him into my top five. Now, here are the guys that I was battling with. I literally been thinking about this list forever. Um, I almost put Nolan Ryan in, but I didn't put him in. The guy had a bajillion strikeouts. They almost like 6,000 strikeouts. Did it for a super long time. He never won a Cy Young. I didn't realize that. Never won a Cy Young, which is pretty interesting. Obviously, had a ridiculous career. Randy Johnson, I first had him in there. You know, when I first went into this, he was another guy. I didn't realize his numbers are so ridiculous, but he was ridiculous. His numbers are just mind-boggling. I was going to put him in over Walter Johnson, and then I went with Walter Johnson instead. Steve Carlton had a ridiculous career also. Another guy, I knew he had a really good career. Didn't realize how good it was until I started doing some research. Cy Young. I keep saying how many guys got Cy Young awards, and then I didn't put Cy Young in here. Um, Cy Young, again, like, it was going to be Walter Johnson or Cy Young. I ended up going with Walter Johnson. I thought his numbers were a little bit better. Cy Young pitched, you know, I think he had like 500 and like 11 wins. I don't, I didn't write it down, but I think he had like 500 some wins, 511 wins or something ridiculous like that. That's when guys pitch like pretty much every single day, every single day pretty much. Um, but I didn't put him in. Sandy Koufax, ridiculous career. Just didn't play long enough, but had a ridiculous career. And Bob Gibson, another guy that I was going to put in. Didn't put in. It's tough to put him in over some of these other guys. Um, but you could really almost put any one of those guys in the top five, and no one's probably going to get mad at you. So those are my top five. Put your top five below. Let me know what you guys have. I'd be interested. In, I know. I think there's going to be some people that are going to, you know, if you look at the older player stats back in like the dead ball era, and you know when pitching really dominated, you could almost put five of those guys into this list because their numbers are absolutely ridiculous. Um, I kind of favored guys that I've seen play again, guys that played a little bit more when there was more offense in the game that were still unhittable, but this list could go a bunch of different ways. So let me know what your list is below. Comment in the uh, section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends. Give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out. Um, we've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. We have uh, a link that you can support the channel on our Patreon site. We've got a bunch of other recommendations, so check that out. And that's all I got, guys and girls. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.